Hey guys, it's your boy DJ. What's up? What's going on? I got a surprise for you guys. Pretty cool, guys. I, I actually did this successfully, okay? I told you about, if you watch one of my videos, I'm working on a Razor, Razor EcoSmart project, okay? It's a new scooter that Razor came out with. It has a 350 watt hub motor, right? And the way it runs stock is, stock is quite horrible, okay? It's not good at all. Uh, the power is only like, you only get up to like maybe 12 mile an hour, and it's very weak because it's at 36 volts and it has three lead acid batteries in it so i set off i had pl planned this ahead of time to uh make the scooter make make the scooter much better so i upgraded it to a 48 volt system a 20 amp hour lithium ion battery guys and i got something great check it out bam that is the black edition the razor Eco Smart Sup Scooter 2020 Edition. Yes, yes. I haven't done anything to it cosmetically, but under the hood, I upgraded the controller. I, up, I added a digital display unit to it. There you go. Cycle Analyst from Grin Technologies. Uh, so I can see exactly how much voltage I got and I can even see the miles per hour because that uh, the hub motor that Razor has evidently they incorporated incorporated that technology into that hub motor even though Razor doesn't use it so it's all good I can even track my mileage guys so far I've gone one point something miles uh, I can limit the speed I can limit the uh, the amount of amps that the controller will pull so you guys know how I, how I always advocate for slower speeds right uh, I even set the speed limit on this thing to 15 mile an hour that's top speed oh it'll go faster than that but I'm limiting the speed to 15 mile an hour why because it's safe okay it's very safe much safer uh, going hang on a second my phone's getting goofy it's much safer going to slower speeds okay so uh, I'm th this is my first time riding. I just uh, pulled it upstairs and uh, you know I connected all the wires correctly, the hall hall wires, the hall sensors, and the motor wires. Evidently, I did everything correct. And I was a little nervous because I had to cut off the end of uh, the co upgraded controller that I got, which was like 130 bucks. So it was like kind of a gamble. But uh, I'm going to do a more in-depth video on this, like when I pull the uh, the deck off. So you guys can see, but I got all my electronics from Grin Technologies, and uh, the controller's awesome. Now it was a compact fit, but I got everything in there. Uh, it's not finalized because right now I don't have an on and off switch. Okay, I don't have an on and off switch, <coughs> um, uh, so I have to incorporate that in there. So right now I have to take the deck off and unplug it to get it to turn it off. But that's not a big issue. Uh, that'll be easier to figure out. Um, that's and I don't have my charge port exposed because this is where this battery is going to stay. This battery will be staying in this scooter right here because uh, I'm really big into the scooter thing. Um, the upsides to the scooter are the 16 inch wheel. Yes, the 16 inch wheel are what makes this scooter great. Okay, this scooter doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the thousand dollar scooters have. But that's the beauty of it, guys. You don't have to spend all that money, you know, if you just use common sense and think rationally. They get those scooters, and many of the, and many of those scooters are going uh, 30, 40 miles an hour. It's very dangerous, guys. Very dangerous. I mean, this scooter has 16-inch wheels, and I limited the speed to, uh, I limited the speed of this scooter just to 15. That's good enough for me because it's safer. Okay, I've been doing this stuff riding these scooters a long time, more than most of you guys probably on the internet have been doing it seriously 20 years ago i had a scooter this size i still have it 16 inch wheels but it was gas okay even then i was only when i cruised around only like uh 12 to 15 mile an hour trying to be safe so uh yeah guys this is awesome i pulled this off i can't well i can believe it it ain't like it's impossible but this scooter is so much cheaper this scooter only sells for 450 dollars guys only that's all now you had to add i had to upgrade the electronics the controller was 130 
Uh, this was like $85 for the psychoanalyst. So yeah, you're gonna spend a little money, but look at what you're getting, guys. This is premium. 16 inch wheels, you get a flat out in the middle of nowhere, you can change it by just simply, you know, a normal 16 inch wheel buyer, a uh, bike inner tube at Walmart. Now there is one issue that I'm gonna have that I don't like about this scooter is this uh, right here. See how they got that, that stem is bent? That's gonna be a problem. So I will probably have to stock up, <laughs> I hate to say it, on uh, some uh, inner tubes from uh, Razor specifically just for the scooter because of that, because of, the, because of the bend. I hate that, but you know, there's always gotta be a drawback. Okay, but anyway, what Razor could have did better to make this scooter even lighter? It's got some weight to it, guys, because uh, that motor's that motor's quite heavy. You know, the rear hub motor, that's all coil. If you guys watched my video, I opened it up and showed you guys the inside of that sucker. It's a big coil, man. That sucker's got some weight. And then the, uh, the battery, I lost a lot of weight with the battery, though, because the battery is only like 10 pounds as opposed to three lead-ass batteries, so... That's a, a, a quite a big loss of weight, but I don't really care about the weight. This I'm not looking at portability, you know. I'm looking at uh, uh, um, safety. I like to ride scooters a lot, as you guys know. <laughs> but this is the cream of the crop right here. You don't need suspension uh, when you have wheels as big. It'd be nice, but you don't need it when you, you when it's this is like a daily commuter. Why? If you're smart and you limit your speed to like 15 miles an hour, these tires will will take care of you on the big bumps and stuff, you know? Think about it, we rolled 20 inch bikes around for years with no suspension, you know? Never had a problem, many of us. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing other upgrade, other videos for you guys on this scooter, but this is a big plus right here, guys. I'm telling you, this right here should shake up the scooter world, you know? Uh, Electric Scooter Report, I hope they showcase the scooter and not for what it is, but what it can be. Yeah, you do have to change out some things to make it good, to make it great again. You have to change out some parts, okay? It's just the way it is. Otherwise, it's not very good at 36 volts. Thank you very much. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's nice. Now, check this out, too. Check it out, check it out. It's got one brake here, right? But I'm, this scooter is going to have regenerative braking because... I'm going to order the, because the controller already has it. So, I, all right, let me, let me back up a little bit. Stock, I only have one brake, right? There it is. One brake, which is fine. But regenerative braking will feed power back into the battery. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll be getting a, uh, ordering the, the brake from these guys so I can hook that up and have regenerative braking. So I'll have electronic braking along with, physical braking this the scooter does not have a front brake um i don't feel that it really needs one because of the speeds that i'm going plus i'm going to have the two brake uh double dual brake system in the back i'm going to get the regenerative brake lever because it's already in the controller so i think that's quite awesome uh guys this is the bomb whether you guys know it or not this right here is something special uh and it was nice is too on this new Razor EcoSmart, as they call it, sub scooter. They lowered the deck a bit, so you can even kick it if you need to. So yeah. Um, also, this is the throttle that I, that uh, has been uh, upgraded. It's a little thumb throttle. I don't wanna do it too much, as you see it'll take off. But this is, uh, I'm gonna put some nice hand grips on. I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna do, as you guys know. You know I'm gonna pimp it out. I'm gonna stain the deck. The deck's gonna be a lot darker than that. I'm gonna sand it a little bit. Then put some stain on it, put some, make it really dark. But this is the black edition, guys. Uh, more videos to come. I just want to make a quick one. This is my first test ride out on it. I'll let you guys know what's going on. All right, it's your boy DJ out.